Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the stamps feature. Now, this is a fairly easy feature to use. You'll notice that File Center comes with quite a few stamps, which should fit a lot of your needs. Just select the stamp that you want to use, go anywhere in your document, and stamp it. You're going to notice that once it's been stamped, there are some little squares at the corners. You can use these to resize the stamp, and also if you hover over the stamp, you get those crosshairs, and you can just drag and drop the stamp anywhere you want it to go. And then hit Escape to commit the stamp. Now once you no longer want the stamp in your document, you can just click on it to select it and hit Delete and away goes the stamp. Now a lot of users want to know if they can use their own stamps inside of File Center. And the answer is absolutely. You can use any kind of an image as a stamp. In fact, let's import one right now so you can see how this works. Just for fun, let's add a rejected stamp to this collection so that it'll really be rounded out. First thing I need to do is come down here where it says Show Stamps Palette. I'm going to click that and that pops up my dialog where I manage my stamps. The first thing I need to do is add a section over here for my custom stamps. So I'm going to do that and for simplicity I'm just going to call it Custom. Now with that selected I now click over here and I'm going to import this stamp from Image. This is a stamp that I found on the internet and I think it's going to work great. So I click from Image and it pops open a window where I can browse out to my image file. And here it is. I select it and I click Open and it brings it into File Center. Now I can close this. Now as you can see when I click on my Stamps palette over here I've got a new section, Custom, and there's my new stamp that I just brought in. And select that and stamp it right on my document. And I feel pretty good about that. Now one thing I'd like to point out is that you can see the form through the background of this stamp and there's a reason for that. This image that I downloaded has what's called transparency. What that means is that the image is actually transparent everywhere that you don't have the actual graphics of the image. Now as you're looking for stamps on the internet or as you're creating your own stamps that's one of the features you'll probably want to look for is transparency. Otherwise, it's going to completely block out everything behind it with its white background. Now at this point, many of you are wondering a question. Is it possible for me to create a signature that I can stamp onto my PDF files? And the answer to that is absolutely. In fact, we've devoted a separate video just to digital signatures. So you want to check out our tutorial video called Digital Signatures, and that'll show you how to do that. Now another question we often get is whether File Center supports dynamic stamps. Now a dynamic stamp is one that can contain dynamic information like a username or initials or a date time stamp. And the answer is a yes, File Center does support dynamic stamps. You can't create them in File Center, but if you have a set of dynamic stamps, you can import them into File Center. So let's show you how that's done. The first step is to make sure that your user information is properly set up inside of File Center. You'll want to come here to the Edit menu, Preferences, and select Identity on the left. And then make sure that you filled in most of these fields, because this is some of the information that can show up in Dynamic Stamps. Next, you'll need to import your Dynamic Stamp Collection. Now, Dynamic Stamp Collections always come in the form of a PDF file. To import that PDF file, you need to come up here to Settings and File Center, select Miscellaneous on the left, and you'll see a button that says Open Custom Stamps Folder. This will pop open an Explorer window to the folder where File Center stores its custom stamps. You can see I've already got one custom stamp collection, and that happens to be the stamp that I just created in File Center. What you need to do is either drag and drop or copy and paste your dynamic stamp collection into this folder. Now behind the scenes I already copied my collection, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. And there's my PDF that contains my dynamic stamps. I'll go ahead and close this. Finally, I need to restart File Center so that those new stamps will be loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and restart File Center and meet you back here in a second. Okay, I'm back in File Center and I've loaded up a PDF to play with. Let's come here and take a look at what's happened with my stamps. As I scroll down, you're going to notice I have a new section of stamps down here. These are the stamps that have come in from my dynamic stamp library. Let's select one and see how it's different than a typical stamp. 
Okay, you should immediately notice the difference. Not only did my name show up inside of the stamp, but also a timestamp showed up in there. So anyone looking at this document knows who it was that approved the document and when it was that they approved it. Now, I want to reiterate, you can't create these dynamic stamps inside a file center. Typically, this is something that you need to buy. There are places on the web where you can buy dynamic stamp sets for Adobe Acrobat. Any stamp set that you find that's compatible with Adobe Acrobat is also going to be compatible in File Center. And you can now see how to import those and how to make use of those in File Center. Not necessary, but a nice thing. Now, before we end this tutorial, I want to point out something very important. A lot of users are going to ask, will this stamp print if I print out this PDF? And the answer to that is, if you want it to. Let's come here to the Print menu. And notice down here on the bottom, Print Options. It says right here, Print. And you can select what you want to print. Document and Markups, Document and Stamps, the Field Data Only, or Only Markups. If you want it to print without the stamps, select Document. But if you want the stamps to be included when you print the document, select Document and Stamps. Easy as pie. Be sure to check out our other videos on using the PDF Editor, and especially our video on using digital signatures inside of the PDF Editor.